So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an unlimited money glitch working in GT5 after the most recent patch of 1.50. So guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for the latest and the greatest GT5 online content. And with all that being said, let's get right into today's video. So guys, what you want to do is you want to be in an online session. Now what you're going to need to do is get a personal vehicle out and you want to head down to any of Los Santos. Now you want to go ahead and get your car and you want to drive into Los Santos and before you come into the kind of cutscene where you're going into Los Santos you want to press pause so then you can drive about in Los Santos. Now you want to drive it up to the part where I do in the video and you just really want to park it there. Now you want to walk out of Los Santos, now you want to go down to the street just next to Los Santos and you just want to go ahead and grab a street vehicle Now it doesn't matter what one, it just needs to be one that you can drive into Los Santos with. So guys, as you can see, I'm just going to run to this red truck over here. I'm just going to kick the guy out of the car and I'm going to drive into Los Santos. So guys, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to set our spawn location to last location also. So make sure you do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive into Los Santos and press pause before we hit the cutscene. We're going to park the car like this where the car is in Los Santos, but the wheel is just at the door. So you want to go ahead and place a sticky bomb onto the car. Now what you want to do is you want to walk into Los Santos, now you pretty much want to stand in front of the car and press left on the d-pad to explode it and you should still be alive. So you want to be next to the car when it does that. So as you can see I'm going to press right, I'm going to press pause real quickly and we're going to press online and we're going to go down to crater. Now as you can see in the background, I do not die from the explosion, I am still alive. So. What we need to do is when we're in Creator, we're going to go ahead and load a creation. Now, you can just create a team deathmatch or something like that, but just make sure you've got one you can just load. As a published one or a saved one, it doesn't matter. So guys, I'm just going to start one of these ones that I created ages ago. Now, this was the mission that I made for the 10k per kill that sadly got patched. But I'm going to go into it right now. Now once you're in creator mode as your own character and you can run about and do whatever you want. You want to just follow what I do in the video. Now guys, once you get into it, you just want to go ahead and press pause. Now you're going to go to friends. Now you need to join a friend that's in an online session. So as you can see it says join game, I'm going to accept that and I'll say get in GT5 online session details. Now we're just going to wait until it says you can accept that. Are you sure you want to leave creator? Now obviously we're going to do that. Now guys, once you load up into the online session, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to our own personal vehicle and we're going to do the same steps as where we're going to park it in the Los Santos. So we're going to drive the personal vehicle up to Los Santos and before we hit the cutscene, we're going to press pause. Now we're going to park it up in front of, uh, now you're going to park it where I do park it in the video. Now guys, we're going to walk out of the Los Santos and we're going to get another street vehicle. Now guys, you want to do the exact same way, drive in and press pause. Now, once you do get that um, street vehicle in Los Santos, you just want to have it behind your vehicle. Now you want to hop out of it, now you want to get in your own personal vehicle again, now you want to drive that personal vehicle outside the garage. Now 
Now you want to park it just at the door so you can go back into Los Santos and you're going to hop inside that street vehicle. So now guys, once you are in the street vehicle, you're just going to go back a little bit and you're just going to push your personal vehicle outside the garage so the door does shut and when you drive back in, you should get the automatic cutscene. So now guys, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to go down to sell and you see C. There you go, you get a lot of money for selling it. So, I don't know if it's to do with the personal vehicle that you have in front of it, but you can actually sell any street vehicle for a lot of money. So I'm guessing if you just have an expensive vehicle uh, as your personal vehicle and you do this glitch with that then you're just going to get a lot of money from selling all these street vehicles. Now you're going to have to re repeat this glitch constantly, it's not a consistent glitch where you can just go and get another street vehicle and rinse and repeat. You need to start the glitch from scratch in a new session. So guys, that is it for today's video, I hope you did enjoy, if you did don't forget to drop a like as it does your support and subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss out on the latest and the greatest GT5 online content and with all that being said, I'm VapidHD and I'm out, peace. GTA 5 online video. Now in today's GTA 5 online glitching video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to get the car in the casino for free within GTA 5 online after the most recent patch of 1.50. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, why not drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. But yeah, this glitch is simple and pretty fast to do, so if you guys want to follow the video, it only takes like 2 seconds to do it literally. But yeah, before we get into the video, I'm also hosting a modern account giveaway. So what you guys are going to have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to me and comment ha visions, hashtag visions 5 times down in the comments below and it gives, gives you guys a chance to win the modded account that I'm giving away there will be 10 modded accounts that I'm giving away when I hit 15,000 subscribers so if you guys can help me get to 15,000 subscribers it would do a lot but yeah, say all that, let's get straight With that, I'll be buying woman gifts if they acting right Beautiful lady with dreams, that's a good night so yeah, anyways, I was saying for this glitch, it's so simple and all you have to do is simply go to the casino at first. And once you're in the casino at the wheel, what you're going to want to do is change your outfit to make sure you save the game. Once you see the orange circle down the bottom right hand corner, that's your game saved. So you want to do that and once that's done, you want to walk up to the wheel. And once you've walked up to the wheel, you want to spin it. Like I just do in the video now, but once it's spun, what you're going to want to do is in disconnect your internet but you have to wait to a precise time so wait until it's going really slow just so you know whether you're going to get it or not like I did in my video but once it's about this point here what you want to do is press your options button on your controller and go to online and disconnect the internet but yeah once that bit's done what you're going to want to do is simply load back into, back into story mode like it will make you it will take a few minutes, it can take like anywhere between 30 seconds to 2 minutes to load back in single player. But once you're back online, uh, sorry in single player, what you're going to want to do is simply load back up and online. Well, something that I did forget to mention in this is that you should set your location to last location. Luckily mine was set to the penthouse anyway of the casino, so I can just spawn back in and walk right back down. But as you can see it's saved on the outfit and I haven't gained anything from it, I haven't got coins through the vehicle or anything just yet. But what we're going to want to do is just go back and keep repeating this method just to actually get a chance of winning it. There's, I think it's 1 in 20 chance that you get one in the vehicle. So once you've won it, then there you go, you can win, and that's pretty much you for that. But yeah, uh, that's all I have for today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. So why not drop a like down below and subscribe to me? I'll see y'all guys next Yo, what is up everybody? Um I want to show you guys how you can make loads of money on GTA online now. Basically, we're going to be manipulating the 3 card poker. Super easy, man. All right. So let me show you how this is going to work. We're going to head over to the online tab. We're going to just head into an invite only session.
should load fairly quickly because I'm using a LAN cable. Uh, actually, so this shit should go pretty quickly. So once you're in GTA Online, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go play some three card poker. Now you don't need a penthouse for this, okay, you could do this on the low end tables if you wanted to, but yeah. Let me show you what you should do. What you're going to do before you even start playing is you're going to go over to your style and put on a different outfit. Once you do that, you'll see the uh, little orange loading circle. Then you're ready to start playing. Basically, Hello, um, how we're going to set this up is we are going to close the application when um, we lose. So, here we go. I'm putting the max anti bet. I'm not doing pair hey, plus. No Good luck, folks. Put down to fifty thousand. Get it down. Boom. Alright. Eh? So when you win, you're just gonna wanna switch your outfit. Boom. As you can see I got seven hundred and fifty thousand chips now. Bet that max. Bets are now closed. I'm not doing pair plus bet, but you can do pair plus bet if you want. I just decide not to. Let's get those bets in. Boom. Big winner leaving the table, folks. Like every time you win, you just gonna want to get up off the table and switch your outfit. And if you don't see the orange loading circle when you switch your outfit, just switch it again. And it doesn't even have to be your outfit, you can just change your glasses, earrings, a hat. It really doesn't matter. Just change something on your character, uh, like clothing-wise in the interaction menu, and you should get the uh, orange loading circle. Bets, please. Ooh, he won. Yep. So basically, you're just gonna close your application when you lose. And start the game right back up. shouldn't take long to load in also another good way to make money is to uh, actually load up of some of the, some of the survivals man um, I know for a fact that the stab city survival is the easiest as because you can do the head glitch but yeah that's also another good way to make money and some good ass RP
Alright, so when you load in, just make your way over to online, go back into that invite only session. Now, you also are going to want your spawn location to be last location or the casino penthouse if you have it. So you can do this glitch even quicker. Alright, so as you can see, boom, I still have 800,000 chips, and yeah man, that's the glitch, it's really easy if you want to make quick, easy money, um, again, it's the best money glitch, it's not really a money glitch, it's more of an exploit, okay, but anyways, I'm out, hope you guys make a lot of money with this, peace.